Number Combinations, Lesson 1.2. We can use counters that are two different colors to make sums. We have three blue gems and two pink gems. That's three plus two. That's five gems. And three plus two equals five is an equation. The three and the two are add-ins. The five is the sum. When written going across, the equation can also be called a number sentence. So this is also called a number sentence. And when a number sentence shows a plus sign, like this, it's called an addition sentence. This is 3 plus 2 equals 5. So we're going to do number combinations for sums of 3. Here we don't have any counters, but we have 3 on this side, so we have 0 plus 3. It equals 3. Now we have the 3 counters on this side, but there aren't any over here, so we have 3 plus 0 equals 3. We have one blue counter on this side, two yellow counters on this side, and they total 3. When we put two blue counters on this side and one yellow counter on this side, it still equals 3. Here's some sums of 4. We have no counters on this side, but 4 on this side, so we have 0 plus 4 equals 4. Now we have 4 counters and no counters here, so we have 4 plus 0 equals 4. Here's some more sums of 4. We have one green triangle here and three square orange ones. When we add them together, we get a 4. Now we have three green triangles and one orange square. When we add them together, we get a 4. Here we have two red O's and two orange squares. 2 plus 2 is 4. So here's some patterns for the sums of 5. We have no green dots, so that's a 0, and we have 5 blue dots, 0 plus 5 is 5. We have 1 green dot plus 4 blue dots, we have 5 dots. Now we have 2 green dots, see, there's the 2, and 3 blue dots, we have 5. Now we have 3 green dots and 2 blue dots, and it still equals 5. Now we have four green and one blue, that equals five. And if we have five green ones and no blue ones, we have five. And you see the pattern coming down on an angle like that. As each green one increased, the blue ones went down, didn't they? Same thing with the sums of six. We can have six purple ones and no pink ones. Or we could have one pink one and five purple ones. And as the number of pink ones increase, the number of purple ones decrease and go down. See? So those are sums of six. Same thing with the sums of seven. We have all these pink dots. They're all pink, all seven of them. As soon as we add one black one, now we only have six pink ones. See? And it goes down in a pattern. And as the black ones increase, the pink ones go down and decrease. But they still all equal 7. See? So these are all the add-ins that would make a 7. Same thing for the sums of 8. We have 8 brown dots. Then we have 1 green dot and 7 brown dots. That equals 8. And as the green ones increase, and go up and we get more, the brown ones go down and become less, but they still equal 8. See? You can do that with 9 and 10 also. All right? So those are number combinations and using two different colored counters to help you add. You can try practicing this. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.